Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be learning how to control scale using a viewport in our drawings. Let's get to it. So first things first, you really don't need it, but it's kind of good to kind of put it in context. You need a view, uh, maybe a title block or something in uh, layout space before you get to the viewport. Um, so right now I just have a quick uh, title block in here. It's 24 by 36, but it really doesn't matter what size it is, of course, as long as it prints on a standard size of paper, of course. So also to note in model space, I kind of put a quick smiley face with a 20 foot diameter circle. All right. So. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a viewport. So there's two different ways to add a viewport that are really easy. Um, first one's first is you can just type in viewport on the computer. There you go. Hit enter. Click single. Hit OK. And then place your viewport in. Voila. Or you can type in menu bar. Enter. Set it to 1 so that you have your drop down menus at the top. If you already have them, you do not need to do that command. And then you can go to view. Viewports 1 and do the exact same thing. The choice is yours, whatever one you want to do. Um, those are the two easiest ways I find. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically give this guy a scale. So I see the viewport here and this honestly this outline of this box will print. So sometimes you might want to put this on a layer that doesn't print or some people go like this and they kind of hide it from the end point there to the end point there. Um, honestly that works good in a classroom environment but in a real world environment you're going to have crap loads of notes in here. Um, so your viewport's more going to look like that, and this will be all notes, scale bars, whatever it have you. So uh, I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to click this little down arrow. Now, I'm in an architectural template right now, so if I wanted to make it something other than the scales I see here, maybe like 1 to 2, I'm going to have to create a new custom scale. So I'm going to go to custom real quick. Um, I'm going to hit add, and I'm just going to create a quick custom scale. So 1 inch equals 2 feet, and I'm just going to code it 1 colon 2. There we go. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK again. Now I'm going to click on the viewport, or sometimes if you click on the viewport, you'll see a little dialog box pop up here. You can click down. Um, if not, click here, click here, and then go to 2. If you double click in here, you'll notice if I, act, if I go like this, I can move the smiley face around, and I can mess up the, the scale royally if I zoom in and out. So to prevent that, once you have your scale set, and it's nicely centered, so it's about centered right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little padlock, which locks it. So now I can go like this. It doesn't change, and I can move around, and it doesn't change. You've just locked the viewport and set the viewport to a set scale. Now, we're not done yet. We need to create a layer. So I'm going to create a layer real quick, and I'm going to call it a new layer, and it's going to be called viewport. And since I already have one there, I'm going to call it viewport 2. Now, this viewport, I'm going to give it a cool substrate you know, green, and see this little button right here with the printer? I'm going to say do not print it. So anything on viewport 2 will not print. And then I will click on the viewport, go to here, and I will go to viewport 2. Now I used to use def points, as def points layer does not print as well, as well, but uh, uh, you know, I was always taught that was a kind of a like bad drafting practices. So I've adopted the habit of creating a new layer and putting my viewport on a non-printable layer, such as viewport. This way here, if I'm in Civil 3D and I turn off layer 0 or def points, I don't have any weird things going on. Um, so it kind of helps out a lot. And that's honestly as easy as it is to create a viewport in your drawing. Now, some people will on honestly go like this. They'll put the endpoint here and they'll go to the end point here and in fact in classroom settings this is fine you'll be fine but uh, you know honestly it's not like that most of the time most of the time it's like that so you always need to make sure that this is on a non printable layer if you do not want to see the box alright guys and that's how to create the viewport so again make sure you like and subscribe below if there's anything you'd like to see or have done um, let me know in the comments and I will uh, see you guys in the next video